Miu brought the hammer for sure, but what did she need it for? We need to make that clear. Let's assume that Miu brought the hammer. What was she planning to do with it? Maybe use it to break down a wall? Uses for a hammer. Gonta no! Mew gonna build stuff with hammer! She probably just brought it for self-defense. Or she secretly met up with someone. And tried to kill them with it! I agree! Mew was gonna meet up with someone in the virtual world. Mm-hmm. With me. I was supposed to meet up with Mew on the roof of the mansion. What? Is that true? I overheard them talking about it at the chapel. By the way, Mew asked to meet up with me before we went into the virtual world. I totally forgot where we were supposed to meet, so good thing Keyboy spied on us. Wait, so Mew called Kokichi out? If Mew brought the hammer, I wonder what she was planning to do with it. Kokichi's already figured it out. She was planning to... Kill Kokichi? Haha! <laughs> Confessor loved the Kokichi, that's so funny. That's it! She was trying to kill Kokichi. She was what?! Yep, she plotted to meet up with me and then kill me with the hammer. But why do you know that? To prove this, you'll need to figure out Mew's plan, okay? Mew's plan? I'm sure if I analyze the clues we found, I can figure something out. Okay, it is taxi time. Oh look, all of them are in a line. This is like Mario Kart. Can I get two of them? Oh, I'm so bad. Can I get two of them? Dude, I can't get two of them. I can't drive in a way where I can get two of them. Oh, 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 oh I, well, I got two of them, but I... What the heck, dude? Dude, my HP is looking bad. Who tried to kill Kokichi? Well, that's easy. Okay, who tried to kill Kokichi? It's obviously me. If Mew is even on there. Okay. Mew, Kaito, or Kibo? It's obviously Mew. All right, more letter time. Oh, I thought those were I uh, letters. Oh, it's going left and right. Oh God. Where was Mew trying to kill Kokichi? Was it the rooftop? Thinking time. Uh, virtual world? The afterlife? Nice, nice. Okay, one more question. Okay. Oh my god, those cars. I'm just trying to read the question while at the same time driving. I guess you shouldn't read and, and drive at the same time. It's dangerous. It's very dangerous. Oh, come on! 
What was a bot? Why was a bottle of poison on Kokichi C? Uh, hit it, Evans. What? Okay, divert attention. It's not misplaced. It cannot be misplaced. It connects. She wanted it to appear as if Kokichi was killed in the real world. She placed the poison on my seat to make us think the murder happened in the real world. You did that too? What? Mew was the one who put that poison bottle there? No, that ain't right. Something's definitely weird about that. When could Mew have put the poison there? If she did place the poison without us noticing, then she must have logged out at some point. And then what? Log back in? Kokichi, weren't you in the salon around that time? Did you see her log in or log out at all? Nope, I didn't see that at all. If she hadn't logged in or out, then you couldn't have placed the poison. Then who put poison bottle? The only person who logged out early was Kaito. Kaito, your grave just got ten feet deeper! No, it wasn't me, guys! We had to log in. The new cook the poison. That's wrong! It was Mew who planted the poison on Kokichi's chair. She had plenty of time to do it. Here, take a look at this. Is this a record of who went in and out of the virtual world? That's right. It says that Mew was the last of us to log in. Yeah, what about it? If she logged in last, she would have had time to move around in the real world after the previous person logged in. That right! She could have placed Poison Bottle on Kokichi's seat! This was all part of Mew's plan. She tried to kill me in the virtual world, Make us think it happened in the real world. Then pin the crime on Kaito. Well, that's not my fault. Which is why she manually logged you out. Just for that purpose. So she did that to me? Yes, I'm positive of that. Mew used a method only she could use to log Kaito out manually. How did Mew log Kaito out? It's the cell phone. Okay, where's the cell phone? This is it! It was the cell phone found by Mew's avatar. That cell phone worked the same way as the phone in the salon. It logs users in and out. I verified this myself when I spoke Kaito's name into it. Kaito Momoda. He logged out, just as I thought. I see. With that cell phone, she could force anyone to log out at any time. But Mew never mentioned a cell phone, right? That's what Shuichi referred to when he mentioned a method only she could use. She kept the cell phone a secret on purpose, so she could use it for the murder. So, she really was planning a murder. And she tried to set me up. Well, I knew that from the start. 
Then why did you say I was the culprit? Because I wanted to get it through your thick skull. People you trust and defend will ultimately betray you. This is a game of suspicion. Well, I think your ideal should stay the same. Because phonies like you are what make the game more interesting. Don't you agree, Monokuma? Hmm? Do I? I don't know about that. Huh? Wait, what were we talking about? I wonder when Daddy's gonna get his motivation back. Yeah! If Father keeps slacking off, all the work is gonna get forced onto Mommy! My head! I feel like I'm about to remember something, but I can't! What's wrong, Monotaro? Pull yourself together! Anywho, it's a blessing in disguise that Mew died and not me. What you mean? Because she wouldn't have said anything about what really happened in the virtual world. You guys would have had a way harder time finding the culprit, you know. She would have been able to lie about the virtual world settings as much as she wanted. And you'd never know that the murder actually took place in the virtual world. So that's why she decided to attempt a murder. Because she had total control. Then the reason Mew was so insistent we go into the virtual world was... You guys are only crapping because you haven't been to the virtual world yet. But once you go, you'll understand. Seriously, it's so freaking awesome. I know you guys will love it. And then you're gonna fall in love with me for showing it to you guys. So let's just dive right in, okay? We'll do it together. She was insistent we go there so she could kill us. What a shady person. I was sad that she was gone, but now I don't know what to think. <laughs> nice! Backstabbed by a trusted friend. See? That's an ideal fun situation! Now we can start a real class trial! Hey, Kokichi sort of sound like Monokuma. Hmm? Really? I don't sound anything like him. No, you're just like Monokuma. Both of you are cowards. You never speak the truth or show your true face. Wait, coward? You say some interesting things sometimes, Kaito. Smiling, putting on a mask, never saying what you really think. That kind of cowardice is just like Monokuma. Daddy, you're calling me a coward! Aren't you gonna do something? Yeah, yeah, I just gotta do my signature laugh, right? Hoo 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 hoo. There, I did it. He's completely lost his drive! Like a one hit wonder who clings to their former fame! Yeah. Uh, my head! Listen up, Kokichi! The hell with this game of suspicion crap! I will never be okay with it. I'm just gonna believe in everyone. Instead of suspecting my friends, I'm gonna find the truth by believing in them. Well, if you think you can win this game like that, then sure, be my guest. Of course I can. I don't need your permission. How long are you guys going to argue? Let's hurry this up and continue. If we don't find the culprit, then we'll all die, you know that? Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. If we are going to begin searching for the culprit, let's start with Kokichi's story. Huh? My story? You were meeting with Mio, but she ended up as the victim. So it's only natural for us to think you're the killer, right? Here's my answer. I never met up with Mio. You didn't? I tried to go to the roof to meet up with her, but the door was locked. 
isn't lost picking your specialty, you should have been able to open it easy. I couldn't pick locks with my avatar body. I didn't have the tools for it either. Also, I never went to the roof. Not even for the meeting. How did you know it was locked then? I remember. You and Gunter went off together when we first started looking. But was the door to the roof actually locked? When I was on the roof before logging out, the door wasn't locked. Huh? How should I know? Then who locks the door to the roof? I already told you! How should I know? When I went to the roof, it wasn't locked. So you gotta be lying. What good would it be if I lied? I don't want to die either, you know. Lying would do you a lot of good if you're the culprit. Oh, mm-hmm, I see. I didn't realize that. What kind of response is that? That's suspicious as hell! Wait, there's no point in arguing about that now. The truth will come out eventually. Before we get to that, we need to discover the truth behind Mew's death. Truth? There were mysterious circumstances surrounding her death. We need to make sense of those first. Wow, Shuichi, you know your way around this game. Yes, keep up the hard work. The fate of our lives rests in your hands. So, what is this strange circumstance? Kokichi claims it was Mew who chose the meeting place. But I'm wondering how she got from the chapel to the mansion's roof. I see. Mew sent the bridge connecting the mansion and chapel into the river herself. Whoops, my hand slipped. If that's the case, then Mew might not have even gone to the roof. Huh? So she stood me up? It's very rude to break a promise. 